real quick one today. I'm just gonna make a, a bender for my seven millimeter rebar. Now I'm currently using a bit of pipe and the pipe is bending because this, this is quite quite strong stuff. Now I've decided if I make it out of this angle line, the angle line's roughly the right size, but even if it wasn't, you can still slip a bigger one over the top and weld it. So I'll cut two bits of this. I'll make myself a nice little bit of square tubing, just the right size for this rod. So that's today's video. square nice solid looking square too now when I put my steel in it's just that little bit loose in there so what I'm gonna do is just knock a bit off this top edge of both of them and it should fit nicely Right, you can see I flattened it down. Cleaned him up, ready to weld. I didn't recess in on the world, so we'll get clear. Uh, I've just drawn a texture mark through, imagining that's where the join was. Now to recess in is like this top, you want that groove. So you would have just ground each piece down. And that lets you, so that bit's gone. So that lets you, when you run your weld along the top, it gets down in that valley and gets a good bite on both pieces. I didn't see the need for this. I turned my amps up a little bit and I think it got enough penetration in here to do what it has to do. This is only held by hand. I'm pulling this. But it's good practice to recess all your welds down. Fits nicely on the rod and I can still rotate the rod inside it which is pretty good they have a, a light groove down the sides of these things so let's give it a bit of a test see what we think
Nothing all wrong with getting in tight. It's really good. That was a quick video, but I've made a quite an improvement on the bit of steel I was using for bending my 7mm rebar. It's a custom size, fits nicely, seemed to have a pretty good control. So we'll see how it goes over time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. There's more to come. Thank you.